SpaceX is launching the secret Zuma payload. SpaceX will launch perhaps its most secretive payload yet. A classified government satellite built by defense contractor Northrop Grumman. The purpose of the mission, codenamed Zuma, is essentially unknown. SpaceX plans to launch a secret payload known as Zuma on Thursday evening, from NASA's Kennedy Space Center on Florida's Space Coast. And when I say secret, I mean secret. Everybody involved with the mission is pretty tight-lipped about it. Here's a brief rundown of what we know. Aerospace and defense company Northrop Grumman has confirmed that it procured Zuma's launch atop a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket for the U.S. government. But it's unclear which agency is in charge of the Zuma project. Such secrecy is atypical, even if Zuma happens to be a sensitive national security satellite. For example, SpaceX has two national security launches under its belt, and in both cases basic details about the mission were announced. One flight, in May 2017, lofted a satellite for the National Reconnaissance Office, which builds and operates the nation's fleet of spy satellites. The other, which launched in September, launched the robotic X 37B space plane for the U.S. Air Force. One thing SpaceX has announced is the launch window for Zuma. The payload will launch sometime during a two-hour window that opens at 8 p.m. EST and closes at 10 p.m. EST. This suggests that getting Zuma to its destined orbit does not require the instantaneous launch window some satellites and spacecraft have needed in the past. So SpaceX may have some flexibility to handle any simple glitches, or temporary weather issues that pop up late in the countdown. If SpaceX is unable to launch Zuma Thursday night, the company does have a backup window available on Friday. That backup window is also two hours long and opens at 8 p.m. EST. SpaceX was initially expected to launch Zuma November 15 during the same two-hour launch window mentioned. But early this morning, the company announced a 24-hour delay for the mission. While an exact reason for the delay was not revealed, SpaceX representatives did say in a statement that they would use the extra day to conduct some additional mission assurance work in advance of launch. Northrop Grumman did reveal that the Falcon 9 will deliver Zuma to low Earth orbit, a range of altitudes that extends up to about 2,000 kilometers above the planet. Objects in LEO zoom around Earth frequently, completing one lap roughly every 90 to 120 minutes, depending on their altitude. This destination doesn't tell us much about what Zuma may be doing, however, for the denizens of LEO are a varied lot. Spy satellites rub shoulders though with communications spacecraft, and weather satellites, as well as the International Space Station, and the X-37B. Shortly after liftoff, SpaceX plans to bring the first stage of the two-stage Falcon 9 down for a soft touchdown at Landing Zone 1, a facility at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, which is next door to KSC. Such landings are part of SpaceX's effort to develop and fly reusable rockets and spacecraft. So far, the company has successfully landed Falcon 9 first stages 19 times and reflown a booster on three separate occasions. Falcon 9 first stages need to have a bit of fuel left to maneuver back for a landing, so we can assume that the Zuma launch won't tap out the booster completely. But, again, this doesn't tell us much. SpaceX generally forgoes Falcon 9 landing attempts only during missions that haul very heavy payloads to distant geostationary transfer orbit, and Zuma is going to the much closer LEO. So, we can't really make any informed guesses about Zuma's mass. Here's perhaps one of the most exciting things we just learned Wednesday, SpaceX will webcast the Zuma launch. Despite all of the secrecy around Zuma, SpaceX has set up a webcast for the mission, and added a YouTube stream on the company's YouTube feed.
the webcast will begin about 15 minutes before launch, which would be 7.45 p.m. EST for an 8 p.m. EST launch target.